So let's actually try and answer some questions now that we have a list of the basic prime numbers. And what you can do with these, since there's really only going to be one answer. So once you find a definite answer, then you really don't have to check the other ones, but it's always a good idea to cross off wrong answers if you have the extra time to do it. Now, if this is on some time test and you don't have much time, then when you see the correct answer, you can just move on. And I'll write down the most basic prime so that we have kind of a running list as we work. And usually I just write up to 13. And actually 13 is one of our answers here. So we can stop right there. But like I said, if you have time, you probably should check. Now 30 is not prime because it's divisible by 10, by 5, by 2. 49 is not prime because 7 divides into it. In fact, this is just 7 times 7. So if you can ever change the number into some kind of product of smaller numbers, then you know for sure it's not prime. Like this one, it looks like 3 goes into it because if you add 6 and 9, you get 15, and 3 does go into 15. So this is really just 3, it looks like, times 23. And then 87, this one's a little bit harder to see, but it's 3 less than 90, and 90 is divisible by 3. Or you can just add the digits. 8 plus 7 is 15, and 15 is divisible by 3. So this is 3 times 29, it looks like. So all of these could be made up into a product, which is why they're not prime numbers. Now let's do just a couple more of these. And all the problems on the exercise for identifying prime numbers, they all look like this. They're just going to give you multiple choice and ask you which of the numbers is prime. So let's go through now, 27 is divisible by 3. In fact, it's just 9 times 3, so that's not prime. 55 ends in a 5, so it's divisible by 5, and if you divide it by 5, it's 11. So 5 times 11 is 55. Now, 59, we aren't sure about, because nothing is jumping out at me that would evenly divide into it. So probably this one's prime. I'm going to come back to it. 63, I know, is a product of 9 and 7, and 72 is a product of 9 and 8. So it's not going to be these, and we know it's not B, so it's it's got to be C. It's the only one left, but let's actually make sense of it. And we have to check all the prime numbers that are less than it, but only up to the square root of this number. So the square root of 59 is sandwiched between let's say the square root of 49, which is 7, and the square root of 64, which is 8. So it's between 7 and 8 for the square root. So we only have to check up to 7, and we're just going to check these four numbers then. So it's all the prime numbers below and including 7 that we have to check to. And when we divide 59 by 2, that's a fraction, so that doesn't work. 59 divided by 3. Well, it's not divisible by 3 because 5 plus 9 is 14, and 3 does not go into 14. So those don't work. If we do 59 divided by 5, that will give you a decimal because it doesn't end in a 0 or a 5. And 59 divided by 7, well, 7 goes into 49 and 56 and 63. So it skips over 59. It does not go into that evenly. And that's it. We used essentially a proof by exhaustion. We checked every number we could below the square root of that number, and none of those prime numbers divided evenly into this, which means that this is a prime number. So 59 is prime there. Let's do one more. Now, this one, again, is an easy one because we can immediately see that 5 is a prime number since we already went through that list. So some of these will be pretty quick. And some of them will be big prime numbers that will require a lot of thought. But again, you want to go through and check your work if you have the time. 10 is not prime because that's a product of 5 and 2. 75 is not prime because that's a product of 5 and 15 or 3 and 25. Or basically, if you can find a product of smaller numbers, it doesn't matter what they are. So whatever jumps out of you, whatever is the easiest to see. But 85 is divisible by 5, and if you multiply that by 17, you get 85. Now, 91 is a little tricky. 
because we know it's not divisible by 2. 3 does not go into it either because 9 plus 1 is 10 and 10 is not divisible by 3. 5 doesn't go into it because it doesn't end in a 0 or a 5. So we can check 7. And really, we're just checking up to the square root of 91, which is bigger than the square root of 81, but less than the square root of 100. So in other words, the square root is between 8 and, oh, excuse me, 9 and 10. So this should be 9, and this will be 10. So we only have to check up to the square, or to the prime numbers below this, below 10, or below 9, I should say. But that's just these, because the next prime number is at 11, then 13. So we can check 91 divided by 7, because assuming this is right, this should be composite. So this will probably work. 7 goes into 9 one time, and there's 2 left over. 7 goes into 21 three times. So 91 is really just 7 times 13. So we were able to make a product of smaller whole numbers with each of these, which means that all of them are composite numbers. None of them are prime numbers.